Action! We're heading back to the place to do the thing. We're going to do the thing that we did the last time at the place, but it's going to be a little bit different. You'll know when we get there, because I'll tell you. There's a big truck coming at me. I'm going to make the turn anyway, though. Amspec. If we get lucky and get another train in this video, I will be shocked. <laughs> My favorite underpass. Is that what it's called, underpass? This is a trestle, right? Testify trains, let me know. All right. I love it when this place is empty. Welcome to our tobacco-free and smoke-free facility. We appreciate your cooperation. No problem. Well, looking at the Air Data app, I don't think we could have asked for better weather. We've got 68 degrees. The wind is pretty much non-existent. And I don't think it's supposed to get above 77 degrees all day today. So thanks, West Virginia. David Lorenzo, I'm not rubbing this in, buddy, I promise. We are where we want to be. I'm going to get set up over there, and I'll tell you what this video is going to be about today. No trains yet. This is where all the magic happens. Oh, spiders everywhere. All right, so out there, I don't know if you can see it, but that's the landing pad, so I'm all set up. I told you, I told you I was gonna tell you what this was about once I got everything set up. Now we're set up. <laughs> Let me get Jack out for this demonstration. Whoa, well, that's not good. <laughs> Sorry, Jack, your hood fell off. So a few weeks ago, we did a demonstration showing the pause button and how quick it actually will stop the drone from going forward. It raises itself up like this in the front, lowers itself in the back, and it almost stops immediately. Well, we wanted to know if hitting that pause button would stop the drone faster than just letting go of the sticks or actually hitting back on the stick. Well, those videos actually developed into a couple of different comments. I've got spider webs all over me here. There's an actual spider. Bye. <laughs> Jeez. Now he's on me. Now there's a bee. Get away from me. In those comparison videos, I'm sure that you're not surprised, but guess what? I missed something. And it was pointed out to me in the comments. So I got comments from a few different people. The first comment came from Jeff Mountain Man. It says, you do know, of course, that you can control the stopping speed, AKA how much your drone will drift when you let go of the sticks in the controller. I also got a comment from Chris Richardson. He said, I thought these flight characteristics were governed by the gain and expo settings under control in the software. Isn't that where you dictate how responsive the stick pulls are? I'm gonna scroll through all these pictures of Lacey. <laughs> Look how cute she is. <laughs> well, the third comment on this topic I got was from 44. He said, dude, max out sport mode X, Y, and up the numbers. The camera is the only part I keep smooth. In sport, I barely touch the stick and Homer shoots off. <laughs> Homer's his, his drone. Well, with all that being said, I wanted to let you guys know why I didn't change these numbers in the last video. I figured I would keep it on the settings that I had it because I'm not gonna change the numbers to the highest setting when I'm flying normally. So I wanted to try it in just this regular mode. But they do raise a very good point. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna take the sport mode and I'm gonna put the numbers up as far as they will go and see if we can mimic the pause button. Is it gonna work? I don't know. <laughs> Let's get set up. Y'all remember Pete? <laughs> Of course, since we used Jack the last two videos, we got to use Jack again to make it fair. Okay, and we are screen recording. And I'm going to go back again to the radar because last video I forgot to do that. Well, we're using Jack today, so I'll go over to the About tab to prove it. See, it says Jack the Drone up top. So we're uh, firmware 1.03.0000 and Fly App, why is it not moving? Fly App version 1.4.8. The point has been updated. Please check it on the map. I like using this old version because it's Martha. She has a sexy booze. <laughs> That's Martha. <laughs> what? Oh, there's Jack. <laughs> I'm gonna see if he can maybe face that way and see something pretty instead of seeing me. Okay, so let's go over to the safety, make sure that all of our settings are the same. Go to advanced safety settings, make sure return to home is selected. That can change. Go over to control. It's gain and expo tuning. Uh, with Rose because she's on the new firmware. But with Jack, we're in older firmware, so we've got advanced gimbal settings still, which is pretty cool. So let's go down to the sport mode and we'll change all of these, we'll change all these numbers. I'm just gonna go pitch speed max, pitch smoothness. Um, we'll go negative on that, I think. 
yaw speed max, yaw smoothness all the way down. So we're going to see what difference this actually makes. <laughs> it's probably going to be disastrous. All right, do we have our satellites? We've got 15 satellites. The home point's been updated. Let's get Jack out on his pad, and we'll see what we can do here. We want to we wanna change this up, don't we? Let's change this up. I'm going to sit on the merry-go-round today. All right, well, it took me a few extra minutes to get set up because the sun came out, and I wanted to use my sunshade here. Remember the sunshade? So let's get Jack up in the air. We'll do our little test here. We'll get this test over with. Goose poop. <laughs> get Jack up. I'm going to let him hover like he normally does. And I love Martha's voice. <laughs> I could listen to her talk all day. <laughs> That's stupid. I <laughs> wonder how high up we can actually go and keep him in the, uh, keep him in the picture. Okay, do we want to go to the right or to the left with this? Oh, one thing that we do need to do, I need to get over into sport mode. Whoa, look at that. Holy cow, look how fast he turns. And look how fast he comes to a stop. Guys, this may actually work. There may be something to this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn him to the right here. I'm probably going to crash. I'm sorry, Jack. I always do this to you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pull him forward. And I'm going to hit the pause button so we can demonstrate how quick the pause button stops him. All right, here we go. And pause. Look at that. Perfect. Let me bring him down a little bit lower just to make sure he's in frame. Let me do this one more time while he's, uh, while he's so close and so low and still loves me. Here we go. And pause. Oh, I think he was outside the, the picture. I got to go one more time. <laughs> I never claimed to be a professional, guys. You know that. <laughs> All right, and here we go. And pause. Look how fast he stops. Let me make sure he's in the camera view here. I don't know if he is or not. Is he? Oh, yes, he is. Sweet. All right, that'll work. That'll work. I'm sitting back down on the merry-go-round to be lazy again. All right, so all I've got to do now, look at how fast he pitches forward and how fast he stops. And that's just with letting go of the stick. All right, so let's try two tests. Since I've changed all the numbers around on sport mode, let's pull him back. And we'll just, we'll just have him stop. I'll just let go of the stick and see what he does. All right, here we go. Here he comes. I just let go of the stick. All right, so he did dip his back a little bit just by letting go of the stick. I think the pause button still is winning, though. One more time. All right, let's go. Let go of the stick now. Yeah, he, let, he dropped his, his back end just a hair. But I don't think it's nearly as much as it is with the uh, pause button. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull forward, and I'm going to pull back on the stick and see if he stops even faster. I'm going to pull on the stick now. Nope. I think it's about a tie. He doesn't seem to react any faster uh, letting go or pulling back on the stick than he did just letting go of the stick. Here we go. One more time. Pull back on the stick and we start going backwards. I mean, I think it's six of one, right? I don't think that it actually changed anything as far as letting go of the stick versus pulling back on the stick. It's definitely a lot faster than it was, but look at this. <laughs> look how fast he turns. Man, Jack, you're, a, you're nuts. I got to tell you, it's close. I say that was a result. What do you think? Whoa, Jack, be careful. Why is he turning like that? Oh, because I'm not a very good pilot. Moving these numbers has changed the game of this here. I'm going to record some here. I'm going to fly straight out over that fence. Look how fast. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. Changing those numbers in sport mode all the way up and all the way down totally changed Jack's performance. I think we just unleashed the beast. I still do think that the pause button won this test. But I think we've just opened up a whole other avenue of things that Jack can do. Well, and Rose. I haven't messed with her numbers. I know that you actually have more control with her numbers even. But did you see how quick he was, he was reacting, how quick he was moving? The drone mask with this in FPV mode? Oh my goodness. That's going to be fun, isn't it, buddy? <laughs> I think we've exhausted the test with the pause button. I appreciate the questions. I appreciate the comments. Hope that you guys enjoy the video. Have a great week. God bless.